Okay, now we just talked about the else if statement. Uh, and now if we have a, a set of else if like here, I have else if, else if, and so on. And if they're always about each else, each uh, condition, it's always about the same variable. So here it's about if age is less than 10, then set this thing equal to child. If age is less than 20, set this thing equal to teenager. If age is less than 50, set this thing equal to worker. Else, something else. Okay, but in each, condi the condition, the condition, the condition is about age each time. So it, but it doesn't have to be like that. The condition could be about different things each time. So you could say if age is less than 10, do one thing. If income is greater than a million dollars, set this equal to rich. If nationality is equal to Japanese, set, can, that set this equal to can speak Japanese. So I could have, you know, in, with else if you don't, you don't have to have the always talking about the same variable in each else if clause or each else if condition. But here I do happen to have each time I'm talking about the variable age, 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 and so on. So if you're always talking about the same variable in all of these, you can do it in a different way. You can use a different um, uh, syntax, a different code. Uh, it'll and it'll accomplish the same thing as this. So the way that looks is like this. So you use something called select case, and then you put the uh, the variable that you're talking about. So if you're always talking about the same thing, you can do this. So we were in the last case, we were always talking about age. So I can do it. I put the variable that I'm talking about here, and then I say. Uh, First condition, age is less than 10, do one thing. If that condition is not true, go to the next one, age is less than 20. If that's true, do this. If it's not true, go to the next one. But notice that they're all, it's all about age. Okay? So this only works when you're, when you're only, when you're doing an else if only about one variable. Then you can do it this way instead of with the else if. Okay? So this is how it looks. And, uh, Again, it's always it only works when you can do it uh, with when you're talking about just one variable. Okay, so and you say case is age. So he says here, in the special case where there are a large number of conditions, so there were a large number of conditions. It was age was less than ten, age was less than twenty, age was less than so on. So in that kind of situation. Uh, or a large number of alternatives, and a branch is selected based on the value of a single variable, right? That's what we said. So this is called, uh, we, we select this branch, or we select this branch, or we select this branch based on a single variable. It is useful to use a select case statement instead of the else if then. So you can, you can use the select case. And the, the um, syntax for this is, Right, select case, then you say the name of the variable, which was age. And then case one, age was less than 10, for example, do something. Case two, age is less than 20, do something else, and so on. And then you can continue like that. Okay, now he says the range of the case assignment. So in our case, uh, we were talking about age. So that's uh, like a continuous variable. So it's not just a, a few. Um, discrete numbers or a few discrete situations. Uh, so in that case, um, you use the word is. Otherwise, if you just had, like, if you were just considering just a, a list of things, if there were only a few possibilities, like it was either one or two or three or four or five, not greater than something, greater than something else, greater than something else, then you don't use the word is there. You just use the word case without the word is. Okay? And you can also say something like this, case one to five. So uh, if age is one to five, that means if age is one or two or three or four or five, that doesn't really make much sense with age. Because age is, can take can be
be like one and a half or something like that. But if you were, if age was just those few values, one, two, three, four, five, you could write it like this. So, okay, so here, name of the variable is a variable to be evaluated. Each condition is a possible value or range of values. So here we have a range of values. And the case else is the default failure. And if none of these are true, then we run this. And end select case, end select case block. 